Okay, so uh, in this section, we're going to cover the new features uh, in 2025 pertaining to uh, measure codes and, and line work. Uh, you can see on my screen here, I have uh, 0.1 and 0.2 already measured. Uh, just to show you, I don't have any sort of code uh, assigned to either point, uh, just a blank code. Uh, first thing I want to show you, though, uh, is if I go to my menu, go down to my settings and feature libraries, uh, I do have a 2025 coded line work feature library already created. I'm just going to go ahead and click edit. And it's just easy to see. Um, I just have a building code and a polygon code, uh, essentially. So um, building obviously is just going to be a line work. I go ahead and click edit to show you that the feature type is just a line. And then obviously polygon is just going to be my polygon feature type. In this screen at the bottom, now we do have a, an options button. So if I click on that, we got two different options. Uh, first one being uh, the create feature coded line work with codes on points. This is just your traditional uh, measure of codes uh, with line work and a uh, feature code library that we've been using in Intrimble Access for a number of years now. So that doesn't change. That's still an option. Uh, but this new option, the store polylines with codes on lines, is what I want to show you. So traditionally, you had to have it coded correctly to create your line work. Now, um, and before, those, those lines were tied to your measurements, were, were tied to your codes. Now we can actually just create the polylines uh, without codes. Uh, basically, kind of, I like to call it maybe drafting uh, as you're going and access uh, your line work. So uh, you can read that description there. But um, again, these polylines aren't tied to codes. So whether the point was keyed in previously or uh, measured in the field, uh, we can basically just create line work uh, off those points on the screen. So I'm going to stick with that store polylines with codes on lines. I'll hit accept. And that should be good there. I'll just get back into my job. Um, so again, I got point 0.1, point 0.2 uh, coded. So, uh, or, or sorry, not coded. Uh, but if I wanted to select one and two, again, I could do the tap and hold the key in that line if I needed to. If I had a point 0.3 uh, down here, I could highlight that and create a, a polyline if I wanted to. Uh, but the new feature here I want to show you uh, is if I go into my menu and then measure codes, I can see I have my building being the line and my polygon just being a little box shape up top showing what, what it is. Uh, but if I want to go, uh, all right, well, point number one, I'm just going to tap on it on the screen with my building uh, option or my line uh, code being selected or, or yellow. I just tap on the screen and it's going to say, all right, if I take a measurement down here, it's going to draw that polyline. Well, I want to go to point two first. I'm just going to go tap on point two, showing, hey, all right, well, now I'm going to draw a polyline. It gives you the polyline name between one and two. Uh, so now I would say, well, now I want to measure a point here. If I tap on that, again, I'm not coded. It just uh, connected that polyline from one to two now to three. So here now I can just go around my, my building. And basically, I'm just I'm not coding anything. I'm just taking measurements because um, I have that selected in my feature code library for using polylines. I don't have anything coded again. So I'm just going to go around quick here and uh, kind of trace this building outline. So now that I have that done, I want to close this line. Uh, I don't need to go remeasure one or anything like that. Basically, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to tap on point number one in the map screen. And now I have that, that closed up. I just want to escape out of here quick. Uh, you can see now I have a polyline drawn. Uh, and what's nice about this now is that if I want to, I can obviously export this as a DXF. If I want to delete it, uh, if I delete it, my points stay, whereas before, um, again, the line work was tied to your points. So if I hit delete here, again, it's just going to show the polyline. I can delete that out. I'll delete that out. You can see I still have my points. So that's one example. Uh, in this example, uh, we're going to basically join a point to uh, a polyline. So we have point 1 and 2 and 14. Uh, if I were in my measured codes, 
What did it have to do that again? One and two and 14 and then back to one, let's just say. Uh, so I know I have a, a polyline, but I want to add a point uh, for like the northwest corner of this building. So I'm just going to real easy go into measure, measure a point in there. Now I have uh, my polyline and I have a point 16 that I want to join. So if I do a tap and hold, I get an option to insert point. If I click on that, uh, I can uh, make my polyline uh, basically add in point 16 to my polyline to give us that, that uh, building uh, rectangle as opposed to that triangle. Uh, same thing alternatively, if I didn't want that in there, if I do a tap and hold, I have that option now to remove that point and it goes back to that triangle. So a really easy way to um, get uh, line work created just by points as you, as you go ahead and measure them or if they're already uh, in there. All right, so in this example, uh, we're going to use that polygon uh, option. So I'm going to hit my menu, go back into my measure codes. Again, polygon is just highlighted, so I can just tap in the screen and, and start making my polygon. So let's just say, um, you know, I have my polygon here, but now I want to add this southerly corner. I can hit my polygon, take that measurement, and it adds uh, that polygon in. Um, Another option uh, would be to create a new line. Again, just like in, in lines, but I'm gonna create a new one. And I'm gonna move my uh, rover down to the southeasterly part of this secondary building. Uh, if I go ahead and just tap on 26, saying that's where I wanna start my polygon from, hit my polygon uh, measurement. And you can see, I'm just going to basically start creating this uh, polygon from, from point number 26. Now, if I wanted to add point number 25 in here, again, I just need to tap on it on the map screen. And that would uh, join those two lines together. If I didn't like that, again, remember, I can go back in and I can remove that. So if I tap on the polygon and maybe point 25, do a tap and hold, remove that point. Now, if maybe 25 needed to be added to this uh, part of the building, I can tap on my polyline, tap on point 25, tap and hold, insert point. So I have a few different options on how I want to do this. You know, maybe I want to add 25 to both. Now 25 and 26 are on the same line, just overlapping one another. Uh, but I do have two separate polygons uh, in here. Uh, so the last thing I want to show you guys, uh, it's probably more of a reminder than anything else, but being these, uh, you know, lines that we've created are, are polylines, uh, what we can do is if we go to our show button and use our uh, snap to toolbar. So as you're out in the field, uh, again, this is something you may already know, but uh, because these are polylines, we can uh, create some points, uh, you know, at, at midpoints or at intersections, uh, you know, radius points, PI points. So uh, for instance, maybe you want to split this building in half. Uh, if I tap on my midpoint and just tap on whatever polyline I, I want, it's going to create that midpoint. So I have the option to stake that out. Uh, maybe I want to, again, split this in half. Uh, I just need to tap on my midpoint. Now I have two uh, midpoints selected. If I do a tap and hold, I can create points. I'm going to do that. If I want to give it a code, I could. Store that, and now I have two midpoints created as well. Maybe I want to split that, do a tap and hold after I select it, key in line, calc it, store it. Now I have uh, another polyline here kind of dividing that, that building I had, uh, had measured out in the field.